We are in the second part of chapter 2 of the Rudimenta Grammaticae of Comenius, and we're going to be looking at the uh, Turpus Declinationis Primus. The first type of declension and we're going to first look at the singular singulariter the singular so singulariter seek in this manner nominativo in the nominative ends in a the vocativo the vocative ends in a genitivo ends in ai. The dativo ends in ai. The accusativo ends in am. And the ablativo ends in a, a long a sound. If we're going to um, look at a word, so seek declinabis aqua. In this way, you will decline aqua. Aqua meaning water. So here we go. Aqua. Aqua. And if you're talking to the water, aqua. Part of the water. Waters, apostrophe s. Aquae. To the water. Aquae. If you see the water, aquam, and if you are with the water, then it's aqua. Now we don't um, normally put that line over the A. I'm just doing it here to show you that it's a long A sound. Aqua. Pluraliter seek. Pluraliter seek the plural in this way. So the endings are I for the nominative and I for the vocative. Arum for the genitive. Is for the dative. As for the accusative. And is again for the ablative. So seek declinabis. In this way, you will decline aqua. So waters is going to be aquae. If you see the waters, or I'm sorry, if you talk to the waters, then you talk to the aquae. Waters, est apostrophe, is aquarum. Um, to the waters is aquis. If you see the waters, then it's aquas. And if you are with the waters, then once again it's aquis. And so you can do the same thing with terra, right? Terra, 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 terra. And terra, terra, terrarum, teris, teri, terras, teris. And the words that uh, Comenia suggests that you decline for practice are aqua, which we've looked at. You should try terra. You should try um, tabula, which is a board or a blackboard, and kaharta, which is paper and penna, which is a pen, and scriva, which is a masculine word, the all other is a feminine, scriva being a scribe, um, 
and alia similia and other similar words. We now continue with the Turpus Declinationis Alterus or Secundus. So Turpus Declinationis Alterus the second type of declension and singulariter seek the singular in this manner now nominativo we have the endings us we also have the endings er, and we have a neuter ending when the neuter is a variant of the masculine um. Vocativo us changes to e, and sometimes it changes to if it's ius, it changes to. E. Er stays the same, er, and um stays the same, um, because these are the casus recti. So, except for this variation here of a second declension, where us goes to er and ius goes to e, the nominative and vocative of all other cases are identical. And so they're called the casus recti, the straight cases, because they are straight up and down. Genitivo e dativo o accusativo um Ablativo O oh. And we can look at a word that we've seen already Dominus So Dominus we would decline in this way um, Dominus It ends in us And so the vocative If you're talking to the master Will become Domine The masters as in the master's voice, uh, the voice of the master, Domini. If you give something to the master, you give it um, Domino. If you see the master, you see the Dominum. And if you go with the master, you go with Domino, and that's how it works. Um, magister is similar, except because it ends in er. Um, this magister is a teacher. Because it ends in er, the vocative is casus recti, the straight case, so it'll be the same. And otherwise, it's this, everything else is the same. Magistri. Magistro, magistrum, and magistro. Like so. Pretty straightforward. Um, Werbum is a neuter word. If we have a neuter word, the nominative, the vocative, and the accusative are going to be the same, because accusative ending is um, as you can see here, um. It's um and um because there are casus recti, and then um again. So the neuter in the singular 
ending in um is defined by this peculiarity that three of the endings are identical. So let's look at verbum, a word. So verbum, let's put it up here so we can see what we're doing. Verbum in the nominative. In the vocative, it's going to be the same. It doesn't end in an us or a. So if it, would, if it did exist as verbus, which doesn't exist, then it would be verbe. If it was verbius, then it would be verbi. Neither of these forms exist, of course. It's verbum, verbum. The genitive um, a words is verbi. You give to a word, so it's verbo. The accusative, you see a word, it's verbum. And with a word, it's verbo. So the thing to remember is that one, two, three are the same. And as you can see, dominus up here is a um, masculine word. The neuter is a sort of subset of the masculine, with the difference being these two. And this one all have the same form. Otherwise, everything's the same. Domini, domino, domino, verbi, verbo, verbo. So just remember that the accusative, which is regular in all of these second declensions, magistrum, dominum, verbum, for neuters, the accusative is the same as the vocative, which is the same as the nominative. And that's the second declension in the singular um, other words that you can um, decline like this um, atramentum ink uh, which is a neuter word so atramentum uh, famulus a servant which ends like dominus in us, and herus, a master, also ends the same way, herus. And these are all declined similarly. And that's the singular of the second type of declension. The second type of declension um, pluraliter seek the, in the plural in this manner so the ending of the nominative plural of a second declension is e and for neuters it is a the vocative is going to be e and for the neuter it is going to be a the genitive is orum. The dative is is. The accusative is os. And the neuter, of course, is going to be a, and the ablative is is. So, ita declinabis, in this way you will decline dominus. So, the plural of dominus is I see masters and I see domini. Hello, masters. Hello. Domini, masters, as apostrophe, or of the masters, dominorum. Um, dominorum. To the masters is to the um, dominis. I see the masters, I see dominos. 
and I go with the masters, I go with dominis. Like so. <clears throat> Aratrum is a plow for plowing in the field. Aratrum, let's write it down here. So, many plows is aratra. Aratra plows. If I were to talk to my plow, I would talk to my plows and I'd address them as aratra. Um, plows, S apostrophe, or of the plows, aratrorum, aratrorum, to the plows, aratris, I see the plows, arat, aratra, and ablative with the plows, um, with aratris. Remember that this is neuter, so the ending a ah here and a ah here and a ah are the same. And in this way you would decline um, magister as well, right? Magistri, magistri, magistrorum, magistris, magistros, magistris. Atramentum meaning ink, so atramenta inks, atramenta, atramentorum, atramentis, atramenta, atramentis, and so on. And that is the second type of declension. 